find something to criticize uh, somebody else in the anniversary. Amen. Or because maybe they too paper. Maybe they praying all the time. Maybe they laying at the feet of Jesus. And because you cooking fish and want to cook chicken, and then you want to criticize. So mom had a nasty attitude. And she, and she wanted to criticize Jesus, uh, Mary. Mm -hmm. She wanted to go to Jesus and tell Jesus, tell him, why don't you straighten Mary out? She said, a lot of folk come to church just to tell somebody to straighten somebody else out. Right. But when you need straightening out, look at somebody say, look at somebody tell them, you need to see yourself, brother. You need to see yourself. You need to see yourself. And I was reading this story. And, 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 and the book of, of Matthew 26 and 7. Who got that right quick? Don't be afraid to open up and read. Matthew 26 and 7. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head. As he sat at meat. Uh-huh. All right, hold it. Now somebody get me right quick and read John 12 and 3. And okay. when you get home, you can finish reading both of these uh, chapters. I, I just want you to read John 12 and 3. All right, you got it? Nobody got it? Read it, somebody. Then took Mary. Then took Mary a what? A pound of ointment. Uh huh. Of spice. Uh huh. Very costly. Uh huh. And anointed uh -huh. the feet of Jesus. Uh huh. And wiped his feet uh -huh. with uh -huh. her hair. All right. And the house was filled uh -huh. with the odor uh -huh. of the ointment. And the house was filled with the what? The odor. And the house was filled with what? The odor. You know, you know, if you got what it, some good stuff, and you got some real good stuff, and if you ain't got no good stuff, I don't know what your stuff gonna smell like. Some of y'all pay a whole lot of money for something and your stuff stinks. Then somebody else can get a little bit of something and pay a little bit of money. Something like you never smelled before, and it's not only the smell, but it's something else. The aroma settles in your clothes, settles in the room, settles in the, in the bed, settles everywhere. It's the aroma. That's when you got the good stuff. Listen to this. It's something that I'm concerned about. When you read the story, you got a lot of folk who are concerned about how much it costs. In the, in the story, they're going to be concerned about, she was crazy. I mean, uh, uh, they was concerned about, we, we could have took that money and did something else with it. <laughs> a bunch of hypocrite liars. But they want to impress somebody Right. Yes. Yes. Don't impress me. Right. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen
Jesus. When God recognizes that going to be a change. Me. Now listen, if you will. I, I noticed something. I noticed something. The Bible put emphasis on something that costs a whole lot. It, it, I, 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 for some reason, the emphasis was put on uh, the extravagance of this particular uh, 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 ornament. Uh, this particular alabaster box and what it contains. Something, something that costs a lot of money. Yeah, precious, precious. So what I'm seeing here is that some people know the value of what they have, but they don't exceed it more valuable than God. Y'all didn't hear that one. Yeah. Something you're going to do when you love a person. Do anybody know what I'm talking about? See, 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 see. When you are in love, there's a passion. I heard a man wrote a song one time, for you, my love, I'll do most anything. Uh -huh. Some people lie and say, I'll swim the deepest ocean. We might get happy on the end, but I want you to hear what I'm saying. People have a tendency to misconstrue, and they have a tendency to laugh and to scoff at anybody that has an idea called, called, called passion. passion. People like to play with people's love and play with your feelings. Yeah. You know, there's nothing but demonic spirits that make Yeah. 